Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I am doing another beautiful reading for you my Pisces friends. So we're going to do July 1st to July 7th. I've picked the tarot decks uh, before and after. Actually I think this is I think this is before and the other is after. And um, we're going to be pulling cards from this to look at your upcoming week and and what you're going to have to deal with. Okay. I like doing readings week by week if you're new to the channel and uh, looking at how you're going to feel and what you can do with that beautiful energy. Okay, I'm going to start picking some oracle cards from the deck, the Sacred Creators. Um, so I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick quite pick pick. I'm going to pick quite a few, and we're going to take a look at what the week is going to bring in for you. And then we're going to pull tarot. Thank you as always for being here and I have another channel called Life Path Number Tarot. So if you're interested in that, please make sure to go check that out. It's in the description box. If you know your Life Path Number, I also do weeklies for that as well. Including the numbers 11, 22, and 33 if your number goes to that before it goes down to its single number. Okay. So I always take the ones that flip out. Befriend the word por polarize. <laughs> a bit hard time with my tongue today. Unstick the stuck. The spark of hustle. And let's pick another one just for fun. And there we go. Manifesting and doing. So right off the bat, right off the bat. <laughs> what a great saying. Right off the bat. <laughs> I wonder where that comes from. Probably from when somebody hit the ball, right? It it was right off the bat. Um, right from the beginning of this is the vibrant colors that come in. Um, except for this blue that kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. If you really look at it, like if you're looking at the picture, you're saying reds, oranges, yellows, yellows, blue. And there's nothing wrong with blue, but this indicates to me that you are in the mind space. Blue for me is the swords, it's air, it's sky, it's, it's always that cool, mindful type of energy that comes in, just like my beautiful salt stones color just turned right now. Okay, so um, be very careful this week about your mind getting you... Um, stuck in in that kind of energy. You don't want to stay in that kind of energy. Uh, befriend the word polarize. So we're gonna look. We're gonna look at this one. The number as well. Numbers are important to me. Seven is always twenty five. Is also goes down to seven, and seven is usually the assessment number. Right. You look at things. Um, so, befriend the word polarize. Polarize would be, it's not a bad word, okay? Um, it's, it, it isn't a bad word to be polarized. Um, great leaders aren't selling safe, usual, everyday things. So, it's time to put your truth in display, on display, your wisdom on display, um, to find the people who really love your truth, who love what you're doing, who love what you're saying. Okay. That that can be a very brave and courageous thing to do, if you think about it. To speak your truth. Okay. Sometimes it's putting ideas out there that you're afraid maybe are not going to be accepted. Or um you know, part of the regular stuff that you would have done before. Um, but you didn't come here to live a little safe life, did you? I don't think so. Maybe some of you did. I don't think for Pisces it's really a truth. We have our safe things, of course, like everybody does. But I don't think we want to lead a safe and, you know, I'll put in, in brackets here, I'll put it in brackets, but that boring sort of 
sitting in a corner waiting for things to happen life. Okay. So, um, there, I think sometimes we're afraid that somebody will disagree with us and change our minds. That happens as well with this card. I feel that maybe, you know, if you put that bright red out there, people are going to say, well, that's way too red. Don't do that. That's, that's just too, right? Just bring back the vanilla choice. The vanilla choice. Okay. Um, it's time to get comfortable with the fact that maybe what you love is not what everybody loves. You're not here for other people just simply to be liked by everybody. And anyway, it's an impossibility to do, Pisces. Not everybody is going to love and like you. So just kind of sort of, I don't know, I would say just take the time to get more from it. Okay? What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst can happen? Can somebody just start, like, having discussions with you about how they disagree? Is that really bad? Would it be awful to have an intelligent conversation with somebody about two different points of view? Uh, and I mean intelligent, not screaming matches, you know? Um, you're anything but average. Don't hide your message from the world by trying to appeal to everybody or what everybody likes okay not everybody likes the designer stuff that you overpay for but a lot of people do um, sometimes that makes you unpopular with a certain group of people it doesn't make you wrong it just makes you different The best growth in life, in nature, in anything, is by trying new things, okay? And by yielding your own kind of magic. And we're going to go to the next one where it kind of says it's unstucking the stick, the way that you've been thinking about things, the way that you've been seeing things, okay? It's got 46, which comes down to 10 which breaks cycle of stuck. It's the Wheel of Fortune 10, okay? Movement. You want to see movement in your life. You want to see things change. You've got to think in a different way. You've got to see things in a bigger way, okay? The next one is Spark of the Hustle. I love it. It's 17, 8. Always feeling that 8 of Pentacles, doing quality work, not quantity, right? We're, caught, we're going back to this again. I don't want to do what everybody else does. I want to do the stuff that I want to do, and I want to do it well. So when you do something you're passionate about, even if you're not sure if it's going to be popular with the rest of the world, then um, you're following your inner guidance system, your compass. The next card is manifesting and doing. When you really commit to doing the things that you want to do, the things that you love, not only do you get the wheel moving, not only do you find a spark in yourself and hustle to do the work, you start actually manifesting and doing. You start creating the life that you want. Okay? And that comes down to five. Fifty-nine, fourteen, five. Five is gaining wisdom, insight, breaking down tradi traditions. Uh, that's the Hierophant card. So you're bringing in a lot with this. It's a cycle. It's a shift. Simply getting out of your own way or getting out of your mind's way. Uh, is that right? Getting your mind out of the way, I should say, is the way to get to where you need to go. So, now I'm going to start pulling some tarot cards. I'm going to start with the before and the after. I'm going to pull all the befores 
and all the actors. I'm going to pull four cards and then another four cards. As always, I'll do an extended on another video. I hope to see you there. A five. The five of swords. The six of wands. The world. And the lovers. This, the word polarize, going against, this is, I feel this is what you see when you decide to um, do the things you want. That you're going to have to battle for it, right? You're going to have to battle for your spot. I'm going to have to fight my ideas to get them in. Nobody's going to accept them. Um, either that or they'll fail. Okay? I'm going to be in a fight. I'm going to lose the battle. Um, this is what I feel that's coming. And I feel that's the mind. However, you also have, with the mind here, you also have that idea that maybe, just maybe, if you succeed, you're going to be revealed. You're re revered. You're going to be a trailblazer. Somebody who stands above the crowd. Somebody who's, who's done it where nobody else has, you know? The Tony Robbins of your time. The Louise Hay of your day. <laughs> that, that rhyme, that was cute. And then you're just going to, you know, go above the rest. I feel that's what your mind should be used for. I think that unsticking the stuck is also unsticking the thought patterns that you've had. Polarize is exactly what this card looks like to people who get out of their comfort zone to fight the good fight. And I feel that's what they're saying. If you're willing to fight the good fight, not only do you stand a chance at winning, because this card isn't about winning, it's about, um, it's about uh, having that, it, I always use this card as seeing both sides. What side are you on? Are you able to see the other side as well? Will you win this time? Will you lose this time? But what's going to be the big takeaway from it? And it's wisdom. It's, of course, the five that come in. That's another five. You may say, Jane, what do you get from a lost battle? You gain wisdom. You gain insight. You gain what not to do next time what to do next time. If I was on that side, would I have won? Would I be right? Would I see their perspective? It's about seeing the big picture. It's about asking the hard questions. It's about seeing what's there. Because even if there's a chance of a lost battle, there's also a an, a greater chance of actually succeeding, being victorious. If you let your mind think that way, if you don't defeat yourself before you begin, you might actually get to where you need to go. You might actually win. The second half, I feel, is more talking about why don't you reflect more on this beautiful culmination of harmony, okay? Not only that, I see that there may be somebody here that is willing to help you if you let them. This has been coming in a lot. Sometimes, Pisces, we think we can do everything on our own. It may also be because we've asked for help and people kind of just wet noodle it. This is what I call wet noodle. 
You ask them a direct question. I have a lot of people like this in my life. You ask them a direct question. I'm thinking of doing this. What are your thoughts on it? Mm, I don't know. I feel that's a wet noodle response. Somebody who doesn't want to engage, doesn't want to give you their thoughts or their opinions. Or they give you, not advice, but they uh, give you like encouragement which is really great but when you're actually asking for help opinion a hand up um, it's very hard to get something from them right I'm asking for your opinion please give me your opinion but here it says it's not to give up trying okay the spark of the hustle tells me that hustling is also hustling to keep asking questions so that you can get the answers, so that you can culminate. This is one form of culminating, right? A completion. Mm -hmm. I like to think that this is like the duality of, of, of who we are, right? The masculine and the feminine combining to make a perfect, a perfect you. Right? The yin, the yan. Because I think that with here, when you don't befriend the word polarize, when you don't fight for what you believe in, you're putting the masculine in the back seat. And you're not really using your masculine energy to get anywhere. You're just letting the feminine receive. But without action, there's no manifesting and doing. And that's what you need. You need a hustle. You need the action part. And that's why there is the masculine in this world card. It's usually just the feminine, but it's the masculine here. It's a perfect kind of marriage. And I feel that's what they're saying. Let the masculine help you. See, the masculine is putting his hand down to the feminine who is laying down <laughs> the yin. the receiving the, uh, just, you know pondering thoughts and he's going come on let's go let's do something let's harmonize let's get something done so if I were to say one more thing about the cards that have come out so far it would be that they are really telling you to take action in your life do something more don't let your thoughts stop you from moving forward your thoughts of, ooh, that's going to cause a ripple effect, and I don't know if I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock the boat. It would be a better way of putting it out. I don't want to rock the boat in case somebody doesn't like the way I'm rocking it. Maybe you're rocking the boat. Have you ever done this? They're showing me rocking the boat. Have you ever done this? I've stood on a, what you would call a canoe, and stood on it and gone back and forth with my feet and created like waves whoosh, whoosh on each side. And I love doing this. First of all, I love the rocking motion. And I love to see the water movement on each side. I never had a big enough boat to make big waves, but I had little, little one to make little waves. And <laughs> that was good enough for me. Sometimes it's fun to make waves, even if they're little ones. All right, so I'm going to take from the After Tarot. These are beautiful cards, of course, because, well... They're just, they're different. They're different than the regular ones. So, <clears throat> the first card to come out is the King of Pentacles. Hmm. The Two of Wands. I love the way that the masculine and feminine keep showing up in these cards. The Eight of Wands. Two kings in the second set of cards. Two kings. Which indicates the masculine energy really needs to come in here. Right away, I feel that the masculine energy needs to take a role in your life right now. Action, 
is what you need to be doing. Sometimes we overthink things. We think too long about it. What should I do? Did I, you know, do I need to figure this out? Do I need to sit with this for a while? Do I need an... I, honestly, I think that it's just saying, look, make the waves. Take the action. These are all very action-packed cards. Very action-packed cards. The King of Pentacles, not only that, he offers beautiful, practical solutions. Um, he's pragmatic. He's abundant. He's successful. Um, he's beautiful. He's he's that kind of that kind of king that has that stability. Um, You see, when you start taking chances, when you start taking chances with the things that you love, in other words, and I'm not saying taking chances in a bad way with the things that you love, but the ideas that you love, right? You start going, this idea is worth me taking a chance. This emotion is worth me saying, I love you. This um, career is worth me going to that interview and feeling confident about me being able to do the job, even if I don't have all that experience, I know inside myself that I can do it. You bring king energy to it. You bring the resources of actually bringing your best A-game. And that's what you need to do at this point. Stop trying to figure out if you have all the moving pieces or everything covered before you actually do something. You can have the important parts covered, but it's important to also have a little bit of pushing power. You're going into a store, you don't know what's in the store, but you know you want to check it out. You know that you have to push on the door because it says push on the door. You know the door is unlocked. You know you can go through the door. You know the time is right for you to go into the store because you've checked out if it was open or not. You've heard of other people who've bought from the store and you know there are possibly things you want in the store, but you haven't actually gone into the store. If you take too much time not to go in the store, it may be years and then the store will disintegrate and not exist and you will have missed out on the the, the one piece of furniture, that uh, that one thing that they do, that you have always wanted, okay? So, this is just an example, okay? Not nothing about consumerism, just an example about waiting too long to have all the moving parts before you actually check something out. If you actually just go push that door and go into the store, you will see what's there. And you can make your own decisions as you go, whether you want to buy, not buy, walk out, walk through, anything. But all you need to do is actually physically go in. With this, again, I feel like I said, you have the masculine and feminine. So even when you're planning, you should actually have... Um, the feminine is, is, has given you, your feminine side has given you the plans. That's what I feel this is. And the masculine's going, all right, let's do something with it. Let's, the spark of the, the hustle, the spark of hustle, which is, the spark is flame, wands, two of wands, there it is. As you go, when you start taking action, more action will follow. Obviously, there's the wands, and now there is somebody here who's about to shoot an arrow, showing more movement, more action, getting to where you need to go. And finally, you have the King of Swords, who is dead on the mark with his sword. Okay, It's planted through the crown. And the weirdness is, is that he's, he's got a crown, crown. I do believe he has a crown. But he's crowned, you know, he's, he's, <laughs> what do you say, the crown getter? He's ensuring his crown status by saying, I have a crown, but I can get another crown. I'm on focus, I'm on target. I know how to get things done. Not only that, 
somebody who's not afraid to take chances because they've manifested they're they've manifested and they've perfected maybe perfected is a strong word but they've actually just gotten control control also a bad word for me but they've all they've just know how to handle the brain let's leave it at that you know how to handle the brain you know what to do with the brain right you're going look you're not controlling me here. I control me. Yes, you're telling me about A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to Z. Some of that's important. Some of that is less important. What's important here is that I am no longer laying here, thinking through all the possibilities of if, ends, buts. I'm going to let the masculine take over and help me out. This can be in a form of your energy. This can be in a form of a partnership, somebody who displays masculine properties. It could be a masculine. It could be somebody who has masculine properties. I was once that person. Example, somebody comes in and they go, well, I was thinking of, you know, trying that new restaurant. I would be in a masculine energy as well. I'll pick you up at one end. Let's do that. That's the masculine energy, right? So, Just to really say, with this reading, what it is actually talking about is just getting a move on. Get a move on. Pisces, do it. Do. Do. Work it. Okay? Make this come out in your favor. Get that masculine energy and get what you want. Is everybody going to love it? Possibly not. Should it matter to you? Unless it's harming somebody, I don't really think so. Like I said, it will be impossible for you to get everybody's approval 100% of the time. It would be worse to put your entire life on hold and not do anything at all because of what everybody else thought in the world. Instead of letting your mind control you into thinking thoughts of, mm, I don't know if anybody will like it, maybe I'm going to rock the boat. Of picturing yourself as somebody who is going to succeed, who's going to have an awesome victory. And let the masculine energy guide you out of that stuck energy. When you do that, then let the spark take you over. Let that spark guide you and move you into momentum. The masculine again, pushing through. Giving even more movement, momentum, progress. My favorite words, getting your little ducks in a row and then making them go. Okay? And then finally, you're manifesting and doing. You're manifesting and doing. Yes. The masculine is taking that energy and going, come on, let's go, let's do it. And then you're mastering for real, okay? This feels like a very masculine energy. I wear the crown and I got another crown. Look at me, right? But that's mastery. And that's what you need to focus on right now. Believe in yourself enough. Take those first few steps. Don't let the mind take over and talk you in, in another direction or telling you otherwise. And you will actually get to where you need to go. You will actually get momentum going throughout the week and it's going to feel good. As always, my beautiful Pisces, I feel that you worry too much. You don't want to make waves. We usually start out that way. We don't want to make waves. We don't want to hurt anybody. We want to be empathic and, and, and may take care of everybody's needs. But at this point, in this week, this first week of July, I feel the Spirit is saying it's time for you to fight for what you want and go after what you want. Even if it's not comfortable for everybody. Alright, my beautiful Pisces, this is your reading your first week reading. Of course, I do the extended. I hope to see you tomorrow for that. Take good care of yourself. And I'm sending you love, light, blessings.
Bye for now.